Quavo with the message. The biggest Quavo honcho ain't going back and forth. Trust me, we know. He ain't going back and forth at that dice game either. No cap, he still ain't getting no get back. I feel like Buddy Bullet's supposed to be going back and forth for takeoff. He basically got his nephew killed. And for those of you saying it was a blood sacrifice, why he still not up? I just know he talking about Chris Brown, y'all. Buddy ain't spin for takeoff yet. Buddy beefing with himself at this point. It's like back and forth with who, man? Celebrities just be tweeting whatever. If he didn't go back and forth that night, blood might still be here. Krishan Rock reacts to losing over 300k followers after debuting Blueface Tattoo. The more y'all hate, the more popular I become. At Krishan Malone tweeted out, The more y'all hate, the more popular I become. I don't give a F about losing followers. I get paid off my engagement. Slash algorithm, if I'm getting 60 plus million views on my post, 400k plus comments, my promo prices just goes up. Or anything I sell stay sold out. So continue the hate train, it makes me hella money. So Krishan Rock reacts to losing followers. I swear this mindset is a crash out dummy mentality. We need a never post Krishan again button. The baby got a clear disability cause she smoke, would fight, and drink during the pregnancy. But this is what y'all praise. It's time to cancel her like y'all did the baby. Why is it taking so long? I followed her just so I can unfollow her. Someone report her account then. She worried about everything. Devin Haney is saying he is willing to take the same exact deal that Ryan Garcia took to fight Tank. Y'all scared to death. At Real Devin Haney tweeted out, I said I would take the same deal as Ryan. Y'all over there scared to death. So, Devin ain't ducking no smoke. Who you got? Let me know in the comment section. His nose too big of a target to be talking like this. And why Tank want these ninjas dehydrated? Anyways, I'm putting 1200 on Javante by knockout. Now, I'm more of a Tank fan, but Devin been popping it lately. He got my boy looking like a sucker low key, and I don't like that. And is it just me, or these fighters don't be fighting enough these days? Say what you want, but Devin is not a pay-per-view attraction. Get him and his old ad dad out of here. Ninjas be worried about money too much cause they all think they Floyd. It's like, just fight. Hey, Devin Haney, you know you done messed up, right? Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Charleston White ran into Adam-22 at the Corner Wards and called him an eggplant sucker. I can't say that word due to community guidelines, y'all. Yeah, holy shit. Look at the cocksucker right there. Yeah. Yeah, look at the cocksucker right there. We in this bitch. Man, I won't lie. This whole caption is pure comedy. Anyways, why is Charleston White at the Corn Awards? He a real certified freak for that. I bet going to the Corn Awards smells crazy. This is hilarious, and I'm praying for them. And on top of that, who invited him? The Corn Awards just got a little too spicy. So Charleston White went from a child activist to a corn star? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to smash that like button. It's your boy Mickey Rex and we back with another one when they said it wasn't gonna be another one. King says he is the reason people say standing on business. Did he make standing on business popular? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Nah, Drewski is the reason. Tell this albino ninja turtle chicken nugget shut up. Not gonna lie, Drewski the reason you saying it. He look like he bite people. Nah, he made chewing on business. Dude look like a Simpson character. Boy could chew on an ankle monitor. This ninja's slow. But y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Is King the reason why people say standing on business? Ari creates close friends and allows fans to subscribe for $24.99 per month. At Ari the Don tweeted out, I'm gonna make a link to subscribe to my close friends on Instagram. That's the closest we gonna get to OnlyFans. LOL, all exclusive content and don't leak my ish. At Ari the Don, close friends. To all my steppers rocking with me, are you subscribing? Let me know in the comment section. I I'll check it out on Reddit. You down bad if you sub to this. They definitely gonna leak. Every female selling kitty these days makes them look worthless to me. You better off getting scammed by DJ Flip. I guess all the Reddit boys gonna do their job. I'll just wait for the leaks. 
Ninjas can't hold water for nothing. She finna finesse so bad. She probably on there washing clothes. I mean, you can't show no booty without IG reporting you, so it's worthless. But y'all let me know what you think in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Glorilla reveals she's been celibate for 30 days. And Glow the official tweeted out, listen, I reached day 30 of my celibacy and y'all on here posting all these positions is nothing but the devil. Get D behind me, Satan. Now, I don't know about you. Never trust anyone who talks about how celibate they are. What we doing? We celebrating 30 days? Really? This generation is messed up. The real question is, who was hitting that 31 days ago? I just know she ready to bust it open any minute now. And who the hell hitting that to begin with? Sid from Ice Age going crazy. She looked like Lil Bow Wow. I said Lil Bow Wow, you just don't know. Congratulations for not getting smashed. Not gonna lie, the fall off Glorilla needs to be studied. This not even some stuff to announce. She talking about 30 days. That's not even a long time, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Avio Foreign reacts to Kanye West releasing on the same date as his. I'm not changing my date. And Fabio Foreign tweeted out, Listen, Ye is my brother in real life, but I ain't changing my date for nothing in the world. I wish Gang the best, and I know he feel the same. February 9th, Pain and Love 2. Is this a smart move by Fabio Foreign? Let me know in the comment section. Wait, y'all know y'all could download both, right? People act like you can only download one or the other. Bro, no one is listening to no Fabio willingly. Who the hell listened to Fabio in 2024? His album going double copper. His album was already finna flop. Now it's finna get no play. No disrespect, but if he expect to sell out Ye, he on the cleanest drugs known to man. He think he 50 cent in 2007 versus Ye. Music sales ain't the same no more. It really don't matter like it did 10 to 15 years ago. But you let me know what you think. G Herbo shows off his new teeth. Now, I know some of you gonna hate me for saying this, but he probably committed fraud for them teeth. But he about to think everything funny now. He should have been did this. At least fam ain't get the Steve Harvey joints. Look like he went from dope fiend to dope dealer. Should have never took that boy that long. Besides, don't nobody give a damn. Although I'm a Miss Bogus Teeth Herb. I'm telling you, the boy never gonna stop smiling now. I mean, you deserve it, Ratatouille. Now maybe he won't be so offbeat when he rap. When you beat that case, don't forget to smash the like button and tap in with Mickey with the sauce. I'll see you in the next video. Krishan Rock says she does not want to be saved. Says her and Blueface bond has gotten stronger since he's been locked up. He only rock with one female and it's me. So Krishan reacts to her new ink going viral. Baby girl, it's just talk. When he gets out, it's finna be even worse. By the time she 30, she gonna start looking like T.I. wife. Don't save her, she don't wanna be saved. I bet my whole tax return that Blueface finna leave her as soon as he gets out of jail. Blueface must have seen his first BM Jaden cutting up. So he decided to butter up Krishan. I mean, of course it's gotten stronger. He have no one to talk to. I bet he told you y'all getting married too, huh? I'm telling you, Krishan, that's that jail talk. As soon as he get out, he gonna try to get back with the other BM. She done fell for the jail talk like all of them do. But let me know in the comment section. I'll see y'all in the next video. B. Simone reveals that she makes over 600000 a year from her 5,000 close friends on Instagram. She charges $10 per month. Honestly, I'ma use this as motivation. This just proved to me that the world is full of dumb people who will make you rich and make your life better than theirs for no reason. The fact that people are paying $10 a month just to be in her business, this is a new affirmation. Social media has completely changed the entire way of how people make money. I mean, you can go to college for 48 years and leave with an immense amount of debt barely any money to live a check-to-check -check lifestyle and future stressing about everything. Or you can build an Instagram account and do what this lady just did. I mean, we all can do this. Anyways, I'm happy for her, but let me know what you think in the comment section. 
21 Savage tells Kai Sinat he shouldn't smoke hookah because it's for the girlies. Do you agree with 21 Savage? Let me know in the comment section. Funny thing is, I bet he ain't say that to Drake though. Only Zesty Ninja smoke hookah. I don't care what nobody say. I know if some of y'all in the club and ain't got a blunt, I know y'all for sure finna tap the hookah. You ain't even got a front in the comment section, dog. He ain't lying. That's for the pretty women if you ask me. But then again, him and Drake do facials together. So what the hell he talking about? To close this out, is this the same gangster that was afraid of a snake? So is hookah for the girlies? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Tuzi speaks on the current state of music. Music industry weak as hell right now. Ain't no motivation in this ish. You ninjas gonna make me take off my dad apron and save the rap game. He should be the last one speaking. He makes music for vicarious TikTok preteens. On top of that, he a part of the problem though. Maybe if ninjas ain't smoke half the good rappers in the industry, we would get good music. I don't get why ninjas say this. If you could save it, my boy, then save it. Otherwise, you cap. But he's definitely part of that. All his music trash. Well, what you waiting on? So drop some fire, my boy. But do you agree with him? Let me know in the comment section. Blueface's mom, Carlissa, reacts to Krishan Rock's new ink. That ain't my boy. I don't care what she say. It ain't my fault. Stop taking it out on me when he don't want y'all. Ashley Davis tweeted out, that's definitely blue. He just resembles Dre a lot in this photo. Carlissa responded, hell no, Dre my cutest kid, laughing emoji. She be saying the weirdest stuff about her kids. I'm convinced Blueface smashed. Man, I'm telling you, something is truly wrong with all of them. My cutest kid? Rating your kids' looks against each other is crazy. Post that booty again and hush. So these people are just famous for drama. That's all it takes. Nah, but seriously, post that link, mama. Shannon Sharp says Taylor Swift moves the needle more than Beyonce. She's the closest thing to Michael Jackson that we've seen. So Shannon Sharp compares Taylor Swift to Michael Jackson. Talent-wise, no, but fan base-wise, I get what he's saying. Someone named five Taylor Swift songs in the comments. Uncle Shannon trying to get that vanilla goodness. This is how you say you like white girls without saying it. It's like, yeah, because her audience are kids and preteens. I guess if we talk in numbers, then unk right. We all know she isn't more talented, but America is 71% snow puppy and snow bunny. So why is everybody all of a sudden obsessed with Taylor Swift? Michael Jackson had a larger and more diverse fan base. His impact was unifying. Taylor Swift just has a lot of fans, but let me know what you think. YG with the message, leave me the F alone or get dealt with accordingly. You ninjas get money and get soft. When I press play, ninjas drilling ish and the money ain't make me like this, I been like this. You square ass ninjas ain't evil enough. Leave me the F alone or get dealt with accordingly. You ninjas get money and get soft, straight wussy. On my mama kids, bruh is not about that. Do your homework. Now, if you don't know, some real steppers in Fresno kicked in YG Van when he performed there. Not to mention, back in 2007. Oh, it gets real. Hit the subscribe button if you want a documented video. And on top of that, he used to jerk, and some people don't take dancers seriously. Even my bloods from Bompton don't rock with YG like that. If you from Cali, you know. Ninjas get on the internet and swear they don't do internet. Being a millionaire and entertaining beef is wild to me, but let me know what you think. Griselda Blanco, Netflix series starring Sofia Vergara, premieres tomorrow. She smuggled more than three tons of cocaine into the United States annually, netting $80 million per month. Now, I don't know about y'all, but how do you not call it quits after one month? It's crazy because ninjas sell three grams nowadays and think they hurt. And on top of that, how the hell was she doing that? Let's not forget the government played a big part in the crack cocaine epidemic too. With a Bay Area ninja breaking her pockets. I know y'all see Unk behind her. Now if you don't know, her family sending hits. If Netflix don't portray her the right way. Not to mention, Shorty killed a ninja at 11 years old too. She damn near the female Pablo Escobar at this point. 
All these females want to be 304s and not Griselda? Shake my head. I can't stand it, bruh. She the reason why ninjas date Latinas to tell the truth. I mean, she put Pablo on. I'm glad I still have all my hood movie DVDs. Goyeyo was taken into custody as a fugitive of justice yesterday upon release from federal prison where he served nearly four years. Not gonna lie, he went to jail faster than King Lil J. How do you get locked up on your release? Now, let me tell you, if you don't know, if you are doing a federal bid and you have open federal charges in state, your federal charges have nothing to do with the state. So basically, if he had warrants out in Texas, Texas is going to come and get you because they want their time. And on top of that, he did not get time served for his charges in Texas. This is so unfortunate, dude, but I just wanted to give y'all an update. Don't forget to smash the like button and tap in with Mickey with the sauce. Birdman says the South doesn't get enough credit in the industry. I don't respect ish about what they doing in hip hop and I never will respect it because the South paved the big wave of keeping hip hop alive. Hip hop 50, right? I still say that they don't compliment the South enough for me, Birdman said. And I don't respect ish about what they doing in hip hop and I never will respect it because the South paved the big wave of keeping hip hop alive. And I don't think they compliment us enough. The South doesn't get the respect that we deserve. That's just my opinion and F who don't like it. So Birdman believes the South deserves more respect for keeping hip hop alive. He's right. They don't give Louisiana, Florida, and Texas, oh, and I can't forget Memphis, the credit they deserve, only GA. But I will say this. The South been running the game for at least 10 plus years now. Also, I'm pretty sure the Bay Area been feeling like this. Hip hop would be dead if it wasn't for the South, but let me know what you think in the comment section. CJ So Smooth speaks. Broke people disgust me. So CJ So Smooth, aka Corey SSG, express disgust towards people who are broke. Now, I know he knows this, but all this gonna do is make people wanna rob you when they see you. But you gotta remember, my G, you was broke at one point in life. Ninjas get rich and start saying stupid stuff. Now, if you don't know, Bro is a failed YouTuber who secretly wants to be a rapper. With that being said, he shouldn't talk. And this is exactly why ninjas be getting their chain took. And on top of that, Buddy stole CJ's so cool name. He sure do got a lot to say for a ninja that was broke a year ago. Buddy, you better remain humble. And don't your girl got a 1 vs 20 men video on YouTube? <laughs> All I'm just saying is, partner, you worried about the wrong thing. Mickey with the sauce, smash that like button. Lil Wayne says people hate on Drake because he's light-skinned. He red, he light-skinned, Wayne replied. That's just American history. How I know this? Because I'm not light-skinned. I hated on all light-skinned dudes in school. <laughs> so yeah, it's American history, man. So Lil Wayne explains why Drake gets hated on. I find this funny because it's the same ninja that said he don't see race. I ain't gonna lie, Wayne, you had to hate on light skins in school, though. Do you want to know why? Because everybody was calling us dark skins burnt biscuits. We ain't have a choice. All jokes aside, though, we got to stop letting this stuff divide us. We all black. Black is beautiful no matter the shade. Now, do you believe people hate on Drake because he's light skinned? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to smash that like button. Soldier Boy offers to put money on Blueface's books after feeling bad for clowning him. Buddy dreads don't grow. His hair been that length for a while now. I'm just saying, bruh. Looks like he the first rapper to put money on Blueface books. It takes a real man to admit when he's wrong. Bruh must have seen the video that I made that said real ninjas don't joke about another man being in jail. Bro just ducking the fade. I ain't gonna lie, Soldier Boy, I thought it was meet up and die. You know Blueface still gonna wanna get down when he get out. Him being in jail ain't stopping nothing. I think Soldier Boy missing. <laughs>